Now, Pichu versus Robin. This seems like it really stinks butt for Robin. <laughs> we were talking before, you know, uh, Jewel was playing against Redline, and one of the issues that the character faced in that matchup against the Roy was just a fast aggression being in your face. Robin doesn't have great get off me options, and that means that as soon as he gets opened up by this little rat, I don't really even know what this what he can do to get him off of him. Ralphie, no. Oh, is he dead? No, he's not. He's Pichu. <laughs> then again, he is Pichu, and sometimes he just dies. But uh, regardless, Ralphie's been in a good position pretty much since this game started. But the nature of the character, he is a glass cannon, meaning that Robin, who has a lot of kill power, that Levin Sword has electricity behind it um, and can kill Pichu extremely early. So even though Ralphie is in the lead, even though he has the positioning, he still has to be careful. But one thing that makes the character so good is consistency. That forward tilt being so fast, being so lagless, just, and it kills. Like, it's just one of the absolute centerpieces of Pichu's gameplay. Oh, wow. I really have to appreciate the way that Jewel recognizing that Ralphie is throwing out all of these hits, all of these moves, and then when he drops that pressure, he just jumps and did a landing Nosferatu, like realizing when Ralphie was actually going to change the pace. You see how smart this player is. I mean, you have to be in order to make a character like Robin work. Not to say that Robin is really, really bad, but oh, you could just see the fact that uh, there was a lot of clean play that needs to be done in order to win a matchup like this. Okay, healing himself just up just a little bit. Here comes an edge guard, possibly. Robin's recovery did get a lot better. The angling potential matters. Ooh, it's making a big difference. That down smash actually taking out Ralphie's stock. He's stuck in this position, last stock against Jewel. And Pichu, the self-damage is, n it doesn't matter as much as you think it would. When you're down to these last stock situations, it can be because if Jewel just plays patient, and you know, a lot of Pichu's neutral still involves him using electrical moves, and that's just tax on damage, tax on damage, and playing passively has an extra reward to it. Making comebacks with Pichu can just be that much more difficult. Ooh, no tech! And he manages to make it back. That's 87% onto Ralphie. Ooh. He is teetering on the brink right now. Especially from a character like Robin. That shield is so small. Ralphie's not really... Kind of throwing caution to the wind in regard to Lina still throwing out Thunder Jolts, recognizing that he needs to get something started. Oh, maybe now can be it. We do know that this is the edge guard that might make the difference. Getting more and more damage, but back down to the ground. Swell that it! No, the back air is actually going to find its way. Jewel taking game one, managing to get a nice comeback after a strong start from Ralphie. And now Ralphie has no more room. He, if he loses one more game, he has dropped into loses, and he definitely does not want to wind up there. I'm wondering if maybe there's a character switch? I don't think so. I think that Pichu is a good character against this Robin. It just happens to be you got to prepare and really outplay Jewel. But OK, we are actually seeing the character switch. Um, to Wolf, and now Wolf has, one thing that Wolf has is the Reflector. Now the Reflector might not be, you know, having a Reflector against the Zoner doesn't automatically mean like, oh, now it's so hard, just, you know, I can't use projectiles, it doesn't quite work like that, you know? But at the same time, it's something that Jewel does have to worry about. And I will say that Wolf is, it feels like the way he plays Wolf is more similar to uh, his old lead in Smash 4, that being Cloud. You know, nice hitboxes, ability to take advantage of stage positioning really well. 
And so maybe this is more of a play style that could work for him. Ooh. But he needs to find out how to get a kill. Ooh. 105%. Is that going to do it? Wow, the landing up air actually taking him out. 130% on Jewel. I'm liking the movement in between stocks just to try and avoid uh, Ralphie while he has that invincibility. Ralphie looking to end this stock right away, but wow, and it heals so much. And that is actually like a really important percent threshold where now there are a significantly less things that uh, Wolf has that could kill. Now Jewel is back in the danger zone where back air, uh, back throw could probably do it at the ledge. Definitely that's some thing that Ralphie is looking for. Wow, I love that. Using up the Levin Sword and, and aiding it in his recovery, but he doesn't make it all the way back. He's now dropped to his second stock, but Ralphie is already sitting at 91%, really uh, in a not great position. But Wolf has those combos, that comeback power. So... <laughs> now one thing about Wolf as opposed to Pichu, he can't necessarily go for deep edge guards like uh, Pichu would. And that means that getting a real clean comeback might be more difficult. Uh, he does also have his down air, which is pretty good, but surprisingly weak. Like, you'd think Wolf down air would kill earlier than it does, but... Regardless, Ralphie doing a good job keeping his composure. 104% onto uh, Jewel means that if he manages to take this stock right now with a, a well-placed back air while he's on that ledge. Ooh. But taking any extra percent for Ralphie is just, oh, it's going to hurt so much. Wow, I'm loving the movement from Jewel, the way that he's faking him out with these B reverses. And now that he has some stage positioning, He's managed to do so much, any heals. Oh, dash attack, managing to do it though, but now Ralphie, this is not where he wanted to be. 109% against a Robin. Robin has plenty of kill power. That Levin Sword is just, oh, it's such a monstrous thing to get hit by. Barely any room for error. He needs to make some type of huge combo, some clean edge guard, maybe just ugh, get a take as much, get as much off of a single hit as he can. Up tilt not doing it, he's at 155%. That might be it. No, he's still hanging on at 185. Wow. Amazing, just turns away before the roll even comes. Gets the back throw for the set. Jewel is going to be moving on. I know that Mossy said before that Jewel is in contention, possibly for getting top eight tonight. And I might believe it, he's looking really good.